I kept on going back in Clichy Montfermeil, in the neighborhood where I started. And uh, uh, I remember one day picking up a book of Diego Rivera and seeing all those people depicting a time in Mexico and where everyone was represented in what they were doing. One guy was the chief, one guy was the warrior, another guy was the thief. Anyway, everyone was represented. And I remember taking that book and I brought it to the neighborhood. And I showed it to all the guys I would meet in the street and I would show them the mural and I would say, who are you in this image? And right away, even if they didn't know who's Diego Rivera or what's this project or what's this painting or where it was or when it was, they would say, that's me right there. I'm this guy or I would be that guy. So I try to imagine how uh, to do a contemporary mural in black and white that would represent everyone and everyone how they want to be represented. Something that would not be a group photo, but a group of photos. And I really started very simply with a green background and two lights and went in the street with large of Clichy Montferme and asked anyone, you know, do you want to be part of this project? And they would be like, oh, wh what do you mean? What is it? As they walk outside, because we wouldn't have any walls to our studio, it would be completely open. So people would stop and, you know, we would say, okay, uh, you can be represented how you want to be represented. What, what are you doing? And they say, oh, well, you know, I'm a, uh, I'm a dentist, I'm a, you know, a, a, a fireman, or I'm whatever. And, but I'm also a fighter, I'm also a football teacher, I'm also, you know, I have all this thing. And I say, well, it can't be a mural about all of this. You have to decide how you want to be represented. And so one by one, people decided, OK, I want to be represented as someone walking. I want to be represented as someone running. I want to be represented within my own community. And only within that neighborhood, I photographed 850 people. And all of them would you know, uh, uh, decide how they want to be. And then I would print them and cut them and slowly build it. And with large, we would think of how to represent that community uh, 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 with its complexity, with the fact that there is good and bad in each one of us and that people could decide if they want to be hidden, like some guys uh, who are drug dealers that don't want to be seen but still want to be part of that community. The idea was that we involve everyone. We even asked the mayor who sued me when I was 18 and who's still the mayor today, actually. And we asked him if he wanted to be part of that mural and he said yes surprisingly. So he came and he talked, you know, uh, like the mayor, like this, and people uh, 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 would then be in front of him or turning their back to him. No one is looking in the camera. And we decided to install that mural first at a museum in Paris, at the Museum of the Palais de Tokyo. And we haven't shown it to anyone because then it took me a lot of time with my team at the studio to compose and recompose actually the image with the buildings in the background and with all the detail that I photographed all over the neighborhood. And for the opening of that mural, uh, we invited, of course, everyone from the neighborhood. But the president of France, which at the time was Hollande, heard about this mural about to be inaugurated and asked to come and visit it. But his security had organized him to come and visit it at 3 p.m., which was a moment where there was nobody there at the museum. So he came there, and as he got there, uh, he right away realized that that depict also the riots. It depict the, you know, the, tens the tension in that community. And he said, that's the history of France. That's a big part of our history. Where are the people? And I said, well, Mr. President, your security asked that you would come at 3 p.m., but actually everyone's coming later. And he said, well, I'll wait for them. So he waited until 7 p.m. because people were supposed to show up at 6, but of course the bus got late. And anyway, people got there. And as soon as they arrived, you know, there's 750 people represented in the mural. When they came, they wanted to find themselves in the mural. They barely saw the president. And it was interesting because suddenly they were, you know, uh, uh, the star of the museum and uh, the exhibition was about them. And the president was asking them, why and how and why they wanted to be represented this way or that way. And a big conversation started. And of course we laughed because the mayor who sued me was there also. 
and the president asked him why he sued me when I was younger. And then, you know, by talking all together, it was interesting to see how everyone, you know, sued at me or kind of uh, 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 decided how he was and how he felt within the community. But at the end, realized that we were all part of that same community. And the president told the mayor, well, if you gave them a wall in the neighborhood, I'll come and inaugurate it. And a couple of months later, they gave us a wall. We installed the mural in the neighborhood, actually right in front of the building that we pasted you know, years ago. And the president came. And he did something very simple and very clever. Is he just said, this is now part of French history. This is now part of our history, of our heritage. You know? And by saying this, the people who, mainly like me, second generation immigrants from Africa, North Africa or South Africa, or, you know, uh, 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 would say, well, now we exist in France. We're part of, you know, the museum. We're part of the history of France. We, with this mural, we've finally been recognized by the state. And I have to say that I've never really believed in an uh, institution this way, in the fact that, um, you know, the, that the president would introduce the mural or not would change anything. But those words had had so much impact because it had reconnected the people with the mayor and with their country just by the representation of seeing the mirror of them in the mural.